Destructive twins. This is off a two-hand front of grab. We're letting the person come in and actually grab us again, but we're going to surprise them with a double compound strike. We're going to be striking with our fists to the bridge of their nose and coming up with an uppercut. Remember, we talked about the uppercut being one of the most powerful punches we possess. Powerful punches we possess. Hmm. It can only be the most powerful if you know how to apply it. How to apply it? First, you have to know how to use it. It's coming up underneath, striking up under the vital organs, getting past the rib cage. That's what you want to go. Martial arts years ago was very, very, very dangerous. It was life-threatening. It still is, but not nearly as much as it was before. Why? We used to attack vital organs. Those days, we didn't have transplants. Now we do. You can actually attack a vital organ and survive the attack. That was the difference between martial arts. Martial arts and just being aware of how to apply it. We're going to strike to a vital organ. Our punch below is going to the liver. Our punch to the top, to the bridge of the nose. We want to take their vision out, plus their respiratory system. Let's try it. We'll call Sean out right now. As he grabs me, we've already understood the fact that he's committed physical assault. He's also done one anything that's completely much better for me. He's given up his two hands. He's grabbed me. So what's he going to do now that he has me? Hold me? I don't think so. He's just going to stand there. If he doesn't go to his next movement, which is probably to pull me in, I'm going to use, utilize it. The force of pulling me in, I'm going to strike right here, coming up to the bridge of the nose. I'm going to step out now as his hands come up. I'm going to do a parry, outward block. I'm going to take out a vital organ. This is a bad thing, but I'm going to take my finger because my fist won't fit in his eye, and I'm going to poke right into his eye. From here, I'm going to grab his shoulder. Here's his kidney. The only thing that we usually have to protect our kidney, that's a vital organ. We have two. It's basically fat. We know them as love handles. I'm going to strive my punch right into the kidney. I can rupture it. The kidney can be ruptured and have to be removed completely. From right here, this is what I'm going to do. Rotate up, lock his wrist, drive him to the ground. By taking him down, I have complete control of the situation. But also by striking to the kidney, I've already put him in that motion anyway. By being hit here, he wants to turn, going down the downward position. I've made my drive easy. Why? It's scientific. By being scientific, I know. If I hit to the eye, his hand comes up. If I hit to the kidney, he's going to go down. The best example that I can give you of this is Popeye fighting, fighting Bluto. Popeye hits Bluto in the face, he covers his face. Hits him in the stomach, he covers his stomach. You want to go where the target's not covered. You create your own target and take advantage of it. Let's look at it again. Sean uses his two hands by grabbing me. I use mine by striking. What's better, a grab or a strike? I'll take the strike. Step out, carry the arm away, knock it away with a block. Poke him in the eye. Where's his hands going to go? Up. Grab him, explode his kidney right here. As I do, come around, throw him to the ground, holding onto his shoulder. Look how it's twisted. From right here, I can dislocate the shoulder or the elbow. With what? His weight. It works in the same principle as hanging somebody. The weight of his being snapped out, me pulling him back, jerking him, Bingo. Guess what? Shoulder falls out. Let's look at it again. John comes in. I strike. Come out. Take the eye out. Poke to the kidney. Come around. Drive him to the ground. Hold it under the arm. Locking it up. This is going to hurt really bad. It's not going to hurt me. It's going to hurt him. Let's do it again. He comes up. Commits physical assault. I yeah. strike right off the bat. Take him out. Block. Poke to the eye. Hit to the kidney. Drive him down. Yeah. Yeah. He's mine now. There's nothing you can do about it. As I clear out, I can even take out the side of his head. One more time. Comes in. Take it out. Lock it up. Go to the kidney. Drive him down. Yeah. Let him go. This is what it's all about. Remember, when you make your attack, make sure you're attacking. If you're grabbing somebody, it's not an attack. What are you doing? Think about it. Learn. Don't set yourself up to come up short. Go for the long run. If you're going to attack, attack. If you're going to do self-defense, do self-offense. How do you do that? With the same attack. Do it. Comes in, yeah, take it out, lock it up, yeah, go to the kidney, drive him down, yeah, let him go. 